You come home from work, you're really excited to make beats, you get home, you open up your laptop, you click a couple notes, and nothing come out. And you start getting that feeling like you should stop making beats, you want to quit, all the above, right? I mean, it's just a real feeling, you feel me? Trust me, I've been there. I understand what you're going through. It's called creator's block, and we all get it. As much as people want to deny that they get it, everyone gets creator's block. Especially me as a full-time producer, when you do this every single day, sometimes it can kind of get mundane. And motivation to cook up slash inspiration to cook up can get very thin. Today, I'm going to give you guys five tips and tricks to stay motivated, to stay inspired and kill beat block let's get into it all right so number one go touch grass as producers we do not do this we do not do this nearly as much as we should bro go do something go ride a bike go for a walk anything just go do something other than music or you can do something like how i did in my last video instead of cooking up in my setup here in my sense and all that took just my laptop and a mouse of course and i went to my favorite park and cooked up in my car. As soon as I got to the park, I didn't just start making beats right there. I got out, I took a walk, enjoyed the scenery, enjoyed being outside, was able to touch grass, <laughs> and then I made beats. That cook up session was so much fun and it re inspired me to want to make more beats, to want to do that again. That is very fun. Sometimes all you need to do is change your setting. So now you could take this to the extreme and make beats outside. If you do that, make sure you got a MacBook because y'all windows, y'all don't be lasting. Keep some charge on your battery go outside make beats it's a real nice thing to do or if you got a porch you can go on your porch and make beats however you need to do it check it out all right so number two is change your workflow this tip really applies to me specifically because i get in the workflow where i can make a beat full beat from scratch in like 20 minutes and i want to do that over and over again and pump out as many as i can that's good especially if you're working for like a, a specific goal maybe you got to make beats for such and such artists but every day doing that can get mundane and that can really be a huge catalyst for your creator's block so change up your workflow like how i did for my stream on wednesday i usually don't use my synths even though i have them and i bought them usually i sound design on my synths and then use my sound design presets from the synths to make one shot kits or xenology presets or etc but instead i actually use my synths in my beats and it was a new creative flow it allows me to think differently and make beats with a different process now a lot of you guys out there don't have access to sense or whatever that's okay use a different plugin start with your drums first use starters use midis it is okay to use loops any sort of workflow change will always be best if you're more of a melody based producer like you make a whole bunch of loops start with your drums first that's a nice twist and can help you build something really creative it's like you got to think backwards in order to do it it's fun and if you're a drums first producer try making melodies figure out any other challenge or way to spark some new creativity and change your workflow and this actually leads me into my next point which is try a beat making challenge you ever see them videos of like real labor making a beat with only like an 808 so he'll, he'll choose like one 808 and make a full beat out of the 808 do something like that get real creative what i've been doing lately i actually put y'all on i download an app on my mac to spin the wheel type of i don't know what this thing is but i just put a whole bunch of different you know style of beats or beats i have to make or melodies i have to make for placements on here i just let this pick whatever i you know make so if it lands on plugin b i ain't making no plugin b but if it lands on plugin b i'll make a plugin b one then the next melody or beat I spin it again, I make a futuristic one. Then the next melody or beat, spin it again, I make industry trap. But it keeps the inspiration fresh. It keeps you, okay, I don't have to make the same type of beat over and over and over again, you know? I just realized this is supposed to be five tips, but this one with the challenges kind of is the third and the fourth one. Cause the spin the wheel is kind of getting me to make other genres and that was the other one to make other genres. But yeah, so if you're like me, you make a whole bunch of glow beats, make some pop or dance beats, or if you make industry trap all day go make some dark plug or go make some country music like go do something else like you don't have to make the same stuff every single day and also don't be afraid to listen to some other style of music and try and emulate that style like for example y'all know shadow manifest on instagram or you probably know him here on youtube he recently transitioned his sound from underground to it's called like post punk i don't know what it is exactly but he just dropped this kit it was a free kit i checked it out and i've been trying to to make these style of beats now and honestly it's really fun it's something different you don't have to stay stuck in one creative mindset that gets you out your comfort zone you're able to create using different techniques or using techniques that you 
things and other beats and see how everything blends. You're able to see how versatile sounds are. And it's really nice to, you know, make something different. Shout out Shadow, by the way, I'll put the link to his channel in the description. All right, and my fifth and final tip and trick for y'all is, of course, cop some new sound kits or even some new hardware. Even if it's just a free kit, get something new. Of course, it always helps, especially as producers we love buying new drum kits, new synths, new speakers, new anything. It could be a new mouse, but whatever you can get, bro, just something that relates to music that you purchase or get for free that will bring you new inspiration or motivation, you know, to sit in front of your laptop and make something. For example, Trap Reimagined. Trap Reimagined is my latest and greatest kit. Honestly, y'all, this is my best kit I've ever created. One million thousand bajillion percent. And there's a deluxe version, which is like even better. Like I honestly, I don't know what my next kit is gonna be because this kit is probably too good. Trap Reimagined comes with 80 plus crazy one shots, all catered to that alien trap, real trap, new trap, kind of like the new Ian type beats that you've been seeing everywhere. Those one shots are like way too perfect for that. Then you have the reimagined Xenology Bank, which is even better than the one shots, I'm not even gonna lie. But there's 30 plus presets in there and those presets are godly, I promise you. Then you also have 80 plus drum sounds, 40 plus melody midis, 30 phrases, starters, and accents. The Trap Reimagined Portal Bank, which is like actually usable portal presets. Cause you know, portal be doing too much sometimes. People make these portal banks and like the presets just do way too much. And that's just like not even usable. These presets are usable. And then the Deluxe, comes with a secret sauce stash which has the rolling phantom sound fonts in there so everyone wants that sorry for delay preset but you can't get contact going or you don't have the money to do whatever you literally have the sorry for delay sound as a drag and drop and it sounds exactly the same it's the closest thing to a one shot you can drag it from the browser to the channel rack and you have the sound fire amazing and then there's a secret d rich and shawty red stash kit in there for all the sauce you possibly need to make trap beats real trap beats alien trap beats new trap beats modern industry beats ambient trap beats and pretty much all of the above but i'm telling y'all trap reimagined especially the deluxe version is literally like i'm giving you guys all the cheat codes and hacks to make your best beats like it's full of inspiration full of everything bro i, I love this kit i've been using it a little too much much lately hundreds of producers have already tapped in so you gotta check it out right now we're having a sale running on audio vault use code hacks i'll put it on the screen and it gives you an extra 15 percent off your order and boom just like that you're gonna be back cooking your best beats and kicking beat block in the you know what but all right y'all those are my five tips to get rid of creators block beat block whatever you want to call it leave a comment down below if i forgot anything if you if there's any other methods that you use to get rid of beat block let us know we like to share information over here that's gonna help other producers but yeah if i missed anything please leave it in the comments that'd be fire leave a like if you enjoy and subscribe we're on the road to 5k y'all thank y'all for the support lately hope y'all have a good night day wherever y'all at and y'all be easy